The new Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack is a glorified game pack and a total cash grab. Or is it? Because today we're going to go over some Sims Hawk community opinions on not just one side, but seeing why this debate started in the first place. So if you're here for a full review of Sims 4 Horse Ranch, I definitely recommend going to a different video. And if you're here to only have your personal opinion affirmed, I definitely recommend a different video as well. Because I actually think there are some valid points on both sides, and I also think it's it's really interesting that this conversation and debate about Sims 4 Horse Ranch being a game pack versus an expansion pack is actually pointing to a larger issue within Sims 4. So we know that Sims 4 Horse Ranch comes with some features that you could see in typical expansion packs, such as a larger world, new sentiments in Horse Ranch as well, and of course traits and aspirations. So the question is, how did this all come about? Well, I feel like there's a couple theories why people think this is a game pack. For one, I think people are comparing it to Sims 3 and let me know if you would like me to compare to past Sims games or for that matter other Sims 4 expansion packs. And for another, I also think there's confusion and disagreement about exactly what a game pack is and exactly what an expansion pack is. So before I explore both why it could be considered a game pack and also why it could be considered by some to be an expansion pack, let's see what the Sims team says an expansion pack is and what a game pack is. Expansion packs according to them are large packs that that expand your game and take your sims on new adventures. A large pack obviously is very subjective, large compared to what? Expand your game though I think is a key term that I'm going to want to come back to. And game packs in the meantime are medium sized packs, whatever that means, that add new experiences to play in thematic ways. I think there is some interest in the difference between language here. While expansion packs do mention the word expand, Game packs mention the word new experiences and they also say it's thematic. I did two polls. I did one poll on Twitter and one on my community tab on YouTube. Now keep in note these sample sizes are fairly modest. I have about 1700 votes for the first one and about 1100 for the second one. Also results could be biased based upon who follows me and who does not follow me. I asked after the live stream, do you think Sims 4 Horse Ranch feels like an expansion pack, a game pack in between or undecided? Now as you you can see a whopping 60% said it feels like a game pack, while just 14.7% said an expansion pack, and 18.2%, which is actually where I fall, said that they were in between. These results pretty much replicated on my community tab as well. A mere 6% though this time said it was an expansion pack, while 74% says that this is just a game pack in disguise, and of course that 20% rounding out said that it is something in between. First we're going to get into to why people think this is a game pack and should be priced at $20 instead. And of course, the second half, we're going to explore why people think this is worth the full price. I see an app as being a pack that should be adding in new systems that expand the overall game as a whole. None of these key features are telling me that there will be expansion of systems. To me, expand would mean it would introduce features and systems that you can use no matter what world you're in. Now, this is tricky because Horse Ranch does come with nectar making. And while you can technically have horses everywhere, let's be honest, they're useful most in Chestnut Ridge. But you could argue that the nectar making could be used in other worlds and therefore could be seen as an expansive feature. However, it is one kind of niche gameplay and you can argue with this if this is more or less valuable than say certain big systems that growing together brought us. For other people, it was a lot about comparing to past Sims games. That's why I'm so disappointed in Sims 4. Sims 1, 2, and 3 were complete games. This person pointed out that while there is gameplay in this pack, a lot of it feels reused. I'm seeing a lot of reused animations and assets. Going back to the idea of an expansion pack really expanding the game, I feel like an expansion pack expands gameplay in general, even if it has a theme, it still affects all aspects of gameplay. Horse Ranch has its theme, but it sticks only to that. Whereas with Growing Together, that was an expansion pack because it impacted gameplay throughout the entire game while adding more to it. It's a game pack size pack. It feels like it falls in a similar ballpark of the amount of content as Werewolves, My Wedding Disasters, 
and Stranger Val. Cottage Living, meanwhile, came with a lot of gameplay to offer, a solid expansion pack, even though it could have come with more pet types. Now, if you're interested, I do want to return to that argument because I think Cats and Dogs, Cottage Living, and Horse Ranch all have several things in common, but I do understand why some might feel one is a better expansion pack over the other. However, I feel like there are some people like me that feel like it's in a weird spot, and I would argue this is true for a number of Sims 4 expansion packs. That is, while there is a world, there are sentiments, and there are definitely elements of an expansion, it doesn't quite meet its full potential. Horse Ranch feels like somewhere in between. The cast, Bill Buy, and World all seem more on the level of an expansion pack, but the gameplay itself is a little iffy and feels more like a game pack. In between, I understand why it's not a game pack. The amount of items, the complete world of 13 lots, are far more than what we see in a game pack. And the world is indeed beautiful. However, there's barely enough gameplay to justify it as being an expansion. It's tricky, because as a consumer, it feels like a game pack. The full concept and what we are shown feels like it isn't really a fully fleshed out concept. But if you look at it from a purely analytical, late stage capitalism numbers game, there's no doubt that this is an expansion pack. This person adds to that argument saying, I think it's because cost wise, this app really costs as much as developing other apps due to the amount of new animation. That ate up the budget. However, players don't understand and don't have to understand this. They need consistent marketing. That being said, if this expansion pack had been a game pack, I think the community would have been mind blown. EA marketing really has a problem distinguishing between pack boundaries and the difference can't depend only on internal budget and cost. And so to this end, I would say I wish that EA could give them a bigger budget. I think this is constantly a problem. Maybe take a risk in getting higher consumers consumer satisfaction. Now, of course, it must be noted that with inflation, the Sims 4 pack prices generally haven't increased very much from its predecessors when you adjust for inflation. So many things can be true at once. It can be true that it's more expensive to produce these packs. It can be true that Sims 4 Horse Ranch took a lot of effort to make. And it can also be true that EA could be a little bit more generous. And it can also be true that it does sometimes to some people feel like a downgrade from past packs. Now, notice I said some people because one thing I think this community has a big problem with is saying that there is one opinion and one opinion alone. Either you're a shill or you're too negative. The truth is we're allowed to have different opinions and just have honest opinions at that. This person thinks that people are being unfair about the amount of gameplay actually included. I'm glad that horses are fleshed out. There's way more gameplay than we could have gotten if they had been included in Sims 4 Cats and Dogs because they mentioned things such as cleaning horses' hooves, Bucking stalls, the ability to custom make barns, which I do think is pretty cool, shearing sheep, using manure to grow grapes, having complex relationships with horses, and new dance animation, and ghost horses. While this person says the world size alone, the personalization and animations are a big part of the budget, so it makes sense to them that this is an expansion pack. This person also went on to detail some main features of the pack, arguing that it is a pretty good pack. You get a fully developed life state, which I assume they mean horses, of course, a new world, two new skills with new gameplay, mini goats and sheep, a new lot type, a new dance, lore. This person argues that it feels similar in size to cats and dogs because it's giving us horses and it has complicated interactions with sims. The only thing they think is missing is a career, but they do point out that Horse Ranch has nectar making. And in addition to nectar making, we do also get odd jobs in Horse Ranch. There are rabbit holes to my understanding, as are equestrian competitions. Aside from horses, Sims or Horse Ranch has two Two new events to host, tons of cast and bill buy for both sims and horses, competitions, and nectar making. There may not be a ton of side features unrelated to horses, but that doesn't mean there's a lack of content. So you might ask, for the people that feel like it is not an expansion pack, what would make it an expansion pack for them? And the problem? We all seem to have different answers, including more things in general that would fit in but aren't horses specific, such as pool tables, crops such as corn, beans, and squash, a rocking 
horse for toddlers and also I guess more content for toddlers and kids as well, cross pack vet features, and a mechanical bull. So I think we're in this weird situation where it's not clear what an expansion pack or a game pack is. Again, from what I can tell, it's based upon how much they want to spend on something to justify what that pack is. To me, it looks like horses are done pretty well and I think there's a lot of good features in this pack, but it doesn't quite reach my personal criteria for an expansion pack. Notice I said my personal criteria, because at issue here is there isn't a clear definition of exactly what makes an expansion pack an expansion and what makes a game pack a game pack. At the end of the day, whether you think it's an expansion pack or a game pack, you should base your decision to buy or not buy based upon how much you think you will enjoy it. It's okay to have a difference of opinion, it's okay to wait for it to go on sale, not buy it all, buy right away. I think that the value of a pack could be assessed by the overall quality of the pack as well as everything you get. But at the end of the day, the value to you as a simmer is how many hours are you going to get out of this pack? And are those hours going to be enjoyable? And do you think it's worth spending 40 US dollars? That's up to you and that's definitely not a question I can answer for you. So please be mindful of all that in the comments. As always, I really appreciate your perspectives, but please be kind to each other. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.